I'm finally working my way through some of my backlog of dolls that I've been meaning to unbox for literally weeks at this point. So today we are going to be unboxing, nope, I didn't even say hi, hold on. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be unboxing a Shadow High doll from series two and this one is going to be, um, what is her name? Monique Verbena? Verbena, is that Verbena? It's a plant, right? My botany people in the, in the comments, do you know what a Verbena is? I think it's a plant, right? Anyway, so this is, she is from Shadow High series two. She is one of the new Shadow High girls. Uh, she's one of the ones I feel like was like really highly anticipated too, because she has this beautiful deep purple skin tone. Uh, when doll companies do fantasy skin tones, they usually do really, really like light pastel skin tones. So it's really nice to see like a really deep uh, purple fantasy skin tone. It's really beautiful. It looks gorgeous. So very excited to get her out of the box. So this is the new Shadow High box. If you haven't seen it yet, it is kind of like just a regular box. Um, the old ones were more of the like round kind of very plasticky all around looking boxes. So I like this direction with the boxes. It almost makes me want to become an inbox Shadow High and Rainbow High collector, but I can't do that. I don't have the space to keep every Rainbow High and Shadow High doll in the box. So uh, also at the end of the day, I think because of the amount of articulation on Rainbow High dolls and Shadow High dolls, it just makes more sense to take them out of the box. There's so much more interesting stuff you can do with them. They don't come with two outfits anymore though. If you're not aware, the new Shadow High dolls do not come with two outfits. I think we're done with the two outfit thing, um, but also the dolls are only $25 now. So that's actually a plus. That's actually a really Really big improvement. Uh, she is a fashion design focus. It seems like every single doll in this line is a fashion design focus. I don't know why. That was never a thing before. Usually they had like some sort of like variety. It was like I'm doing jewelry or I'm doing animation or whatever, but no, like she, they're all fashion designers now, I guess. <laughs> it's just all they're doing. Uh, but anyway, so this is the box. It has the Shadow High like glossy thing on the front, this beautiful glossy uh, art of her. And then also they do have accessories now instead of a second outfit. They all come with some sort of accessories. They are different. I think everyone I've seen so far has a cell phone and a phone case. Um, but she actually comes with makeup brushes and a little makeup and a little eyeshadow palette, which is nice. Back of the box has her and another one of the dolls. Let's get her out of the box. And then also, so these dolls do come with a doll stand, which is always great. A uh, little comb. A lot of them come with little combs. Uh, if you need that, I don't know. And then two hangers. So the original Rainbow High dolls came with hangers and then I think they took them away for a while. Like I have a vague memory of a time when they didn't come with hangers, um, but now they do again, but they only come with one outfit. So you have hangers, you just don't have anything to hang on them. <laughs> so, but you can of course use them for any doll. You don't have to use them for Rainbow High or Shadow High dolls. You can even just use them for like doll displays. Does anyone else go through phases where you like really are into one doll line and then you like switch to another doll line, you're really into that doll line? I do that all the time. And I'm gonna be honest, like I'm not super into Rainbow High and Shadow High at the moment. Um, but I know I always come back to them because I just feel like they're always pushing the envelope of what like a Playline doll can be. But lately I've been really into Collector Barbies, so I've been kind of putting a lot of my doll money into that lately. Um, and collector Barbies are very expensive. <laughs> Any of my Barbie collectors out there, you know, collector Barbie can be pricey. All right, so once the doll's out of the box, you can see that there's additional artwork in the box. So there's this piece back here, which is like the full rendering of her. And then there's this piece over here that was hidden under the, um, hidden under the accessories. And then there should be one more. Yeah, there's always three. There's one down there too. It's hard to see her. They're always very cute. I really like the little hidden pieces of artwork, artwork they put in here. I love like a fashion sketch. So to me, like that's, it really is very beautiful. The base of the doll stand is always behind the doll in these series two dolls. The Rainbow High doll stands are a three piece stand. Very simple, just a little waist hugger and then the little base and the stick thing. Rainbow High doll stands are very inconsistent. They, sometimes they hold the doll great and everything's perfect and other times the doll falls off the second you put her on. Uh, just depends. It's very situational. <laughs> so, all right, so let's take a look at her face first off. So, this is Monique. Here is her face. Is her eye wonky? 
Did I get a wonky eye? It's hard to tell. <laughs> but here's her face. I can't tell if her eye's a little wonky. It might be. She looks gorgeous. I love everything about her makeup. It's very, uh, honestly, for a rainbow high doll, they're usually in like their highest drag. It's actually a little bit simplified on the eyeshadow portion. There's tons of eye uh, liner though. Tons of eyeliner, black eyeliner on top, white eyeliner on the bottom. She's kind of doing like the Trixie Mattel look. Like if you've ever seen, um, you know, a lot of drag queens do this nowadays, but it's, it's very reminiscent of Trixie Mattel to me. Uh, her mouth is a little bit open, very beautiful. I actually really like the way her face looks. Very gorgeous. She does have the molded on baby hairs that are also painted. And then she has micro braids, actually. So her hairstyle is... Oops. Let me get the rubber bands out. Her hairstyle is like these sort of like two high like pigtails and uh, these beautiful micro braids. I love when they do micro braids. I think they're great. I think they, they look great. They feel nice. Um, they are super easy to maintain. So if you're like the kind of person where you've got a lot of dolls and their hair gets f***ed up all the time, like, my, like I am, these are really great. I've never once had to fix or restyle any of my dolls with micro braids. So I love them. I think they look gorgeous. So uh, sometimes they're rooted a little wonky. This basically, one of these micro braids is like one hair when they root them. So they're very thick, right? So basically they root each individual micro braid. This isn't like doll hair and then somebody braids it on the doll's head. <laughs> That's not how this works. So this is like, it's already pre-braided and then they, they root it in as a one piece. Because of that, the hair rooting is usually a lot sparser, but it has to be because the fibers they're rooting are very thick. Um, so the color in this hair is so gorgeous. It's such a beautiful combination. Like each braid has multiple colors in it. So there's different shades of purple, blue. There's a little bit of black in there. I think it could just be a dark brown. So beautiful. And honestly, one of the things that has always drawn me back to Rainbow High and Shadow High time and time again is the way that they use so many different colors in one doll's hair. It just adds so much depth and so much, um, I don't know, just so much interest to their hair. It's so beautiful. And I'm not like a big hairstylist or anything like that, so I really don't even have the skills to like make it look much better than it is. <laughs> anyway, I also wanted to show her earrings. Her earrings seem to have little orchids on them, maybe? I'm not sure if those are orchids. I'm assuming they're supposed to be the flower that she's named after. Um, she also has this cool necklace. Very cool. I don't know what that's supposed to be. So let's get into the dress though. So the dress on her is very interesting. Uh, it's actually a lot of layers of fabric. So there's this top layer of this sort of like um, crimped, I guess like chiffon kind of fabric or like organ or organza maybe. I'm not actually sure what specifically we call that. And then under it, there's this really shiny metallic like polyester, which doesn't look great on its own, but as an underlayer, it actually adds a nice little shine to that, that top layer. And then actually under that, there is a layer of netting to give a little bit more volume. It's kind of hard to see, but there's like a, a layer of like, just, it's kind of like a cheap netting, um, but you're not gonna see it anyway. It's just for volume. So you can really fluff out her dress if you want to. Very cool silhouette, very pretty. I like it a lot. Her waist is also kind of cinched with this little belt as well to give a little bit more depth. So the top part doesn't kind of like consume her. Uh, it's more of like a ruffled kind of collar almost. And then the dress kind of begins under the belt. All right, so the dress also, if you're wondering, it does Velcro in the back, just like any other Playline doll dress. Nothing crazy there. And then on the bottom leg, Layer. The bottom layer of her dress, there is a um, like a like a polyester purple fabric that everything's kind of sewn to. So there's a lot of layers here. I really like it. I really like the the attention to detail. I mean, honestly, they didn't have to do that many layers um, because it's a Playline doll. But once again, it's MGA and it's Shadow High. It's like the probably MGA's most prolific doll line at the moment, and they are still giving us really great quality. I'm really happy with her. Um, take a look at her shoes. Uh, Shadow High shoes are usually pretty cool. They're very like spiky and pointy. Oh, I kind of love them. I love the little like different shaped heel. They really do give us different like shoe molds and everything every single time. I've not seen this shoe mold before. She has these little fingerless gloves. They do say um, SH on them for Shadow High. And that is actually like raised. So those are cool. And these are actually like pleather. If you're not aware of the Shadow High gloves and the Rainbow High gloves, they're usually actually fabric. They're not like a plastic molded piece, which is very, very cool. If you don't know much about Shadow High or Rainbow High, uh, they do have um, articulated wrists. They have articulated elbows, uh, shoulders, 
and knees and hips. So no ankle articulation unless it's a boy doll. They've only done ankle articulation on boys so far, to my knowledge. And I think Paris Hilton got ankle articulation for some reason. Not sure why. <laughs> um, but then also they have head articulation as well. Because there is a Paris Hilton doll. I think she's the only, the only female doll that has ankle articulation. It's so random. So here are her accessories, by the way. So she comes with a, a cell phone. Uh, she comes with a phone case. She comes with makeup brushes. And she comes with a little bit of makeup. The phone says uh, Team Anti-Sparkle. She's getting a call from Team Anti-Sparkle. That's kind of an ongoing joke in the show is that there's like the Anti-Sparkle Sparkle Club or whatever, I don't know. I don't really watch the show as much as I used to when it first came out, um, so I don't know what's going on anymore, honestly. <laughs> but the show's fucking wild. The show is unhinged. Oh, you'll see. <laughs> Enough. I mean, that show's crazy. It's so confusing. Um, but yeah, so these are accessories. I don't use these accessories for anything, so they will be staying in this little thing for now until I have a use for them or have a good place to store them. Um, but yeah, this is what she comes with. If you do like doll accessories, she's very pretty. She's very pretty. I love her so much. See, that's the thing is it's like, I keep thinking to myself like, eh, I'm kind of like bored of Rainbow High and Shadow High. And then every time I get a new Rainbow High or Shadow High doll, I'm always impressed. I like, I'm very rarely not impressed with them. And I have almost every Rainbow High and Shadow High. I might have every single one, honestly. I'm, I'm not even sure. Still very impressed with Shadow High. I still have more Shadow High to unbox. I think I'm down to like two more of the Series 2 ones. But I guess I better unbox them fast because I just saw that the Rainbow High, at the time that I'm filling this, the Rainbow High uh, Series 8, I don't know, <laughs> whatever series they're on now, it looks like they just got leaked as well. So it sounds like we're going to be getting more Rainbow High dolls soon as well. Um, so I do have to kind of hurry up on unboxing all these. Or if you're like a new doll collector and you're looking for like a high quality doll at a good price, Shadow High and Rainbow High I think are still usually the best in my experience personally. I think she's beautiful. You're perfect, Some you're beautiful. Them. You look like Linda Evangelista, you're a model. So anyway, if you did like this video, I do a lot of unboxings here. So please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, tell me how you feel about the Shadow High dolls. I'd love to know. I love to hear what you guys have to say. Um, so it's always great when people comment and tell me how they feel about them. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and bye bye mm -hmm.